Several park renovation projects are making progress throughout the city. The parking lot at Holt School Road Park is being repaved and is scheduled to be completed by mid-August. The tennis courts at Garrett Road Park have been closed for renovation since late May. That project is expected to be finished and the courts reopened by mid-October. And work to address stream erosion issues on one of the two basketball courts at Burton Park has that court closed until those repairs are made. That's expected to happen by the beginning of December. The second court at the park is open and available for use. For more information about all of these projects, visit dprplaymore.org. An ambitious effort to eliminate traffic fatalities in Durham is now underway. A kickoff meeting for Vision Zero Durham was held on August 1st. The program is aimed at eliminating all traffic fatalities and severe injuries while increasing safe, healthy, and equitable transportation options for everyone. Stakeholders in the effort include the city, county, and state, as well as various community organizations. The program will be part of the statewide Vision Zero initiative, which is based on a strategy first implemented in Sweden in the 1990s. It focuses on using education, encouragement, enforcement, engineering, and evaluation to achieve its goals. More information can be found on the Transportation Department's homepage on DurhamNC.gov. Changes are being considered to the Unified Development Ordinance. The first ones have to do with design district zoning regulations. In response to feedback from city staff, the development community, and the public, changes are being considered that include a requirement for non-residential uses at street level in certain downtown areas, as well as new open space and general facade requirements. The council is expected to vote on these changes during its August 7th meeting. The second set of changes have to do with how signs are regulated. It's in response to a ruling where the Supreme Court clarified when towns and cities can impose content-based restrictions on signs. Durham reviewed its own sign regulations and determined that at least some standards would not comply with the decision. As a result, an assessment of Durham's code will be completed and ordinance changes will be recommended. The results are in from the most recent City Employee Satisfaction Survey. The survey is conducted every two years, with this most recent one taking place this past spring. With a 73% participation rate, the survey shows that overall, 60% of employees say they are satisfied at work. 31% recommend the city as a good place to work, and 37% intend to stay more than 10 years. The survey also shows that benefits and being fulfilled with their duties are the top reasons why employees stay. Leadership and pay are the top reasons for why employees say they may leave their jobs. In response, the survey offers a number of recommendations for how the city can build upon and improve these results. For more information on those recommendations, visit DurhamNC.gov. If you have a special skill you'd like to share, are an avid user of the city's trail system, or could help to tutor or mentor young people and adults, Durham Parks and Recreation wants to hear from you. The department relies on a strong volunteer base to provide its programs and services, and more help is always needed. Some of the ways you can volunteer are through helping with special events, sharing specialized skills, tutoring or mentoring, taking part in an internship, taking part in service projects, or participating in the Durham Community Trail Watch program. Program. If you are interested in volunteering, call 919-560-4355 or visit dprplaymore.org.